Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Max. Today we're going to have a look at this. This is the Recon 3 from HGLRC and DFC. And as you can see, it's a three inch little micro long range cruiser. And that's what it is. It's a cruiser. It's not a freestyle. It's an actual cruiser. So as you can see, it is tiny. It's got, it's got tiny little motors and they are 1202.5 and these are 11 600 kv motors uh, we're running on three inch i think these are gem pan props that came with it get two sets of them in the box with it you get very limited stuff in the box that's all you get two sets of props really this version i bought has the um nano um crossfire on it and the Mark tree comes with it and this is what it comes like out of the box the only thing i had to do to this was hit the binder button which is actually quite easy to get to and it is just under here and under here also is where you plug it into beta flight so everything's very very compact as you can see really tightly packed into here the uh, I think it's a 350 milliwatt antenna, um, VTX, with a tiny antenna comes out the back there. But this is the biggest thing about this is what it flies on. So this flies on a single 18650 battery. So it basically is a flying battery because that's all you've got. As you can see, these are carbon fibre, the arms. You can print your own out because the, on Thingiverse this is on there and you can print the whole thing in. PLA, this is PLA, the bottom piece is a PLA or a TPU, I'm not sure what it is actually. But as you can see, this is all 3D printed and it comes in bits this way. So you would take this bottom off, will allow you to get to everything. It's got a single board, all in one, as you can see there. And if you wonder what that green thing is, that's to tell you the battery is positive side is this way. Extremely important, that's plugged in the right way. In the front of this, you've got a Cadix. And uh, the board, the HGLRC board, and it really is a nicely finished off piece of kit. But the biggest, obviously, the biggest thing about this is it runs on an 18650. So this is a 2200. This is a no branded thing. It seems to do all right. So it's a 15 amp one, which is more than ample for this, and that will get me about 10 to 12 minutes flight time. Um, obviously, the better battery you put in. I've got some molly cells coming for this, 3,000 molly cells, and I'm expecting to get over 20 minutes with them. And that's basically what you get in the pack. So, as you can see, it's, um, let's just show it you. Let's just oh, turn it on. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. This is stick that on. So, as you can see, the battery goes in, and it has to go in only one way. The positive side there, it does actually tell you here, and it also tells you on a some sticker uh, that you get inside the box so you pop your battery in <laughs> so I've purposely not pushed the battery down in at the back and I'll tell you why in a minute so as you can see we've got that in there we're bound to the transmitter I have got this set up so I can show you the camera the camera's actually a really nice little thing uh, I don't know how well you can see that. You can see that probably not too bad. Let's go get some outside shots. So it's quite dark in here, as you can see. Hello. So that is the camera, and that's what the camera looks like from the little ant. And as you can see, I have this bound. There's no beepers uh, on the. There's no buzzers, beepers available for lost model, anything like that. It's trimmed down to 60 or This is just about 100 grams with this battery. And it's all done for obviously long range and weight reduction. Um, and it's the way things are going. So I obviously have the Recon 5, I've now got this, and they do a Recon 4, which also looks really good. And I was going to get the Recon 4 when I bought this, but then decided to go for the 3, um, just because it's something totally different. It's a bit of fun, it's a small little tiny thing, runs on one battery, dead easy to do. And it is quiet, so let me just spin it up.
so you can hear from that it's a quiet little thing once it's in the air and it's a few yards away from you you can hardly hear it at all it's nicely balanced it flies very very straight and true and it hovers really nicely as well i'll have some flight footage coming up because i've only had a quick flight with it i'll get some proper flight footage of her and tell you how long it did when i get the molly cell for it this is just something that all the other batteries i've got i've made into packs recently so i had a quite a few um not these ones the lgs and the um samsung's but i've made them into packs into 4s and 6s packs for some of the other stuff i've got so what do they, what is the point of it so the point of it is it's a little cruiser this is just something if you want to take up and have fun and have a absolutely no stress flight this is great you can't fit a gopro on it or anything like that and you're not going to get the best video footage in the world when you call it back to your goggles but it's just for having fun it's a little cruiser to fly around and i'd say you couldn't go that far wrong if this were your first drone because it's that easy to fly it really is that smooth and simple it comes out of the box with just one mode and that is angle mode and that's really all you're ever going to need i've got i set it up with the modes but you can't really take it take it out of angle really just leave it in um because you don't you do you can flip and you can roll it but it's not smooth it's not nice it's not crisp it's not made for that it's got a quite a niche market if you like i bought it because it's a good little thing and it's a good little thing to have fun with i think if you want something a little bit better and to do a little bit more maybe you should look at the four the five's an amazing piece of kit but if you want something a bit smaller possibly the four so the reason i didn't push the battery all the way in because when you push the battery in it is a sod to get out i can't actually pull it out without putting something in and prizing it out and if I'm down the field, I might not have anything. So I need to remember to put some, or maybe work these connections. But obviously, if you work them and try and make them a bit less tight to push in, the problem you're then going to have, of course, is you could have a risk of a battery falling out. Because trust me, that battery is not going to come out in midair with the way it is. So I think, it's, an, I think it's another winner from HGLRC on the recon range. Uh, I don't I wonder what they'll have out next. I imagine we'll probably be looking at 7-inch or something like that. But I'll be looking forward to it because they're a nice addition to the ho the hobby. I think this is the way things seem to be going, whether you like it or not. I still prefer the heavier drones, I'm, I'll be honest with you. These are good fun and they're good little cruisers, but I think I prefer something that weighs about four or 500 grams, to be honest. But nice and the best thing about this is i got it from the uk a company called your fpv they're not they don't so if you put something into a search on google for a quad or something it's probably not going to pull them so it's your fpv just type it in all one word and you can buy it from there this was 150 quid i think it was with the um, receiver it might sound a lot of money for what it does but that's what the market is and to be fair it's virtually the same it's not much different than the bang good price and of course free delivery it was from there and i ordered it on saturday and today is tuesday so i don't think you can really fault it um they've got some good stuff they've got the range they don't have the five in stock but they do have the four and they've got a lot of these they've got a lot of four inch um of these type of things they sell the flywheel explorer there which is another thing that's difficult to get in the uk so i'm not sponsored by them or anything like that i paid full price for this they don't even know i'm making the video but yeah worth giving a look having a look at there they sell quite a bit of stuff actually thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic